Hey everyone, it's Corbin with World of HVAC. And recently I have had the pleasure of working with some new guys who didn't have any tools. So today I'm going to be going over what kind of things you need to start off in the trade. Now first things first, I don't care if you get a Husky bag or a sick Vito Pro pack, but in order to have tools, you have to have a way to carry them onto the job site. Now you're just starting off. If you buy the fancy Vito, it's gonna last you for a very long time. If you buy the Husky, well, it's gonna do its job, but not for very long. Eventually you will have to upgrade, but at least you got started. Now let's be completely honest. When you're starting off in the trade, you're not making 30, 40, 50 dollars an hour. So you don't have all kind of money to spend on very expensive tools. You can probably only afford the cheaper stuff on Home Depot, and that's perfectly fine. You don't have to go out and spend all your money, your entire paycheck, on the, the latest and greatest. If you're showing up with something that works, then start off. You will have time in the future and a little bit more money to buy nicer stuff. There are a couple of tools you're going to need in this trade, whether it be commercial or residential. You will need a duck knife, you will need a strap gun, and you will need a hammer. <laughs> you always need a hammer. You will need snips, straights, rights, and lefts. They come in packs of three, so you can buy them at Home Depot. Home Depot has a, actually has Wiz brand, which is pretty sweet. One thing you can definitely go cheap on is a PVC cutter. This Husky PVC cutter from Home Depot is like $12, and it runs perfectly fine. They have a bunch of expensive ones, but we're cutting PVC. It really doesn't matter. You can buy that one if you've been in the trade for 40 years. It doesn't matter. One tool I highly recommend to go for straight off the bat is the Hillmore quarter inch and 5 16 multi. This is a little bit skinnier than the Klein version on the head, so you can get into contactors just a little bit easier. In HVAC, we do work with electrical a lot, so a good pair of Lyman's will get you far. Now, everybody makes a pair of Lyman's. You can easily, like I said, start off with a cheap brand and then get Klein to channel lock later. Needle nose pliers are a must. You're gonna be dealing with a lot of stake-ons, whether it be on a capacitor or a contactor. Now, I recommend going with the channel lock brand because it is skinnier than the Klein. I've actually found I can get into way tighter places, way farther back with the channel lock than I can the Klein, even though these are more expensive and everybody loves flying. When it comes to side cutters, I prefer the angled head versus the straight cut because electrical staples, as pesky as they are, sometimes need to come out. Whether you're moving equipment or relocating a switch, you need to move staples. You're going to be working with gas pipe. Now, you can get a pair of tongue and groove pliers that work great with all kinds of different pipes. My recommendation is to not go with the old school channel lock teeth, go with the newer V-Groove teeth. This new style, whether it's from channel lock brand or Kinepex, they grip so well, you can actually find videos of people standing on the pliers when it's holding onto a piece of pipe. These last a long time, and they give you way better leverage and grip on anything you latch onto. We work with a ton of Compressors, motors, contactors, and capacitors. Chances are you're going to come across a burned up wire. On the end of that wire, it's probably going to be a stake on or a fork connector or something. You're going to need a pair of solderless crimping pliers to strip that wire back and reattach any type of connector to the end of that wire to get that system back up and running. Any pair of pliers will do. It's not like one's better than the other, but you will need this, and this is a great addition to any tool bag. You're going to need a pair of crescent wrenches. Now, you're going to need a big one and a little one. Don't worry, they are sold in pairs. They are sold together. But one big recommendation for me is this channel lock pair, which you can find on Amazon, goes up to an inch and a half. You don't think you're going to need that, but sometimes you come across some big bolts. No tool bag is complete without a screwdriver. Now, I recommend the extended multi from Klein, but a five-in-one will do, doesn't matter what brand. 
you don't really need the 11 in one will change your tire with a screw screwdriver you're gonna get everything you need out of this because you also have all the other tools to take care of all the little things that the crazy screwdrivers come with this is gonna be perfectly fine just a basic five in one or the extended multi you don't need all the bells and whistles a beater screwdriver is a must now I've always seen the Milwaukee the Klein and the Southwire my recommendation is the Milwaukee because the square shank does not bend like the round shank from Klein and Southwire you're going to be dealing with a lot of wire we're gonna be dealing with high voltage coming from a disconnect into the equipment we're also gonna be dealing with a lot of low voltage at thermostats condensers everywhere you're going to need a good pair of wire strippers it doesn't matter if you go with the heavy duty from the Klein or the basic everyone sells this one wire stripper get a good pair learn how to use them and keep them around one thing you're definitely going to need is a tape measure now they make tape measures as cheap as ten dollars they make cheap tape measures as expensive as forty dollars and you can buy whatever you want but for me I buy the cheap stuff because either I break it or I lose it or I destroy the tape itself it doesn't matter it was like 10 bucks I'll just go get another one and let's not forget the all-important utility knife now there's a wall of these things at Home Depot pick whichever one you like they all cut stuff you'll be good to go that's gonna wrap this up for this video let me know in the comments below if you learned anything if this video helped you and hit the like button if you like the video hit subscribe to find out about anything I'm gonna do in the future and y'all have a good day